Hey everybody, I am here with Daisy. I'm super excited for you guys to meet her. Um, she's gonna share about how she got started online um, and she's traveling, so she's all over the place but um, she'll share a little bit about that. Um, so if you guys, if you wanna go ahead and tell everybody um, who you are and why you got started working online. Yeah, well, like Carly said, my name is Daisy. Um, why I got started online, I feel like I had a lot of big reasons. One of the main was I really wanted to stay home. Like I just didn't wanna work for someone else. Like, I wanted to be in my own com comfort, like in pajamas, I just love being in pajamas all day. So if there was something I could do while doing that all day, um, that would be my thing. But also with like online, I also didn't want to be stuck to a laptop like a nine to five either. And so when looking for online, I didn't want that either. Like I wanted to be able to take my dog on walks, spend more time with my family. And so that's a big reason why I started with this opportunity. I love that. That's so true because like when I looked at remote jobs, it was like, like you had said, you're still, you're home, but you're still behind the screen for eight hours, 10 hours. So it's not like you still get that, like getting a job like that, you might be home, but you're still, you don't have the flexibility. So yeah, that's so true. Um, and um, you, well, actually, I don't want to go into it because I think that might cover another question I had for you. So awesome. Well, um, my next question is, um, what would be your favorite thing about the platform that we use, or I guess just about working online? Um, my favorite thing would be that there is step-by-step -step training. Um, I didn't have any like business background experience or working online. So I feel like I needed something that was going to teach me step-by-step, step, like really show me because I would be lost <laughs> if it didn't show me anything step-by-step step or really like pretty much dumb it down for me. <laughs> um, so I love that about this platform that there is step-by-step -step trainings and there's also support and guidance, mentorship, like, you know, with one-on-one, -on -one, with your coach, um, with the community. And so like, I love about that because I know I'm never alone. If I have a question, I know there's someone out there that can answer for me. And yeah, that's what I love about it. Yes, definitely. The community is huge yeah. and the training is so great that it covers everything, you know, on all the pages, on the portal, like everything. Like you can pretty much just like type in what you're looking for and you can find it. So yeah, that's awesome. Perfect. So my next question for you would be, you know, with any, with starting anything new, it can be scary. And, you know, when I got started, I was super hesitant. So what were some of your fears when you got started and how would you say you got past those? I think one of my biggest fears was like, what are other people going to think? You know, I feel like personally for me, like that was always my worry with anything I did, like, you know, whether I, you know, went to school or whatever I did, um, like, what are my parents going to think? Like, what are my friends going to think? Like, you know, are they going to judge me? Like, it's always like what other people think of you. And then like the more I'm, you know, doing personal development, like I realized like, you know, they don't pay your, they first of all, don't pay your bills unless, you know, it's your spouse or someone else. <laughs> but like, you know, usually friends, like they, like as much as you love them, like, you know, just you overthinking, like, what are they going to think of me stops you from actually doing what you want to do. And so like a way that I overcame that is just doing a lot of personal development and like really thinking like, you know, like if I always, overthink things or don't overcome my fears like I'm always going to let other people control my life versus like me because you know just overthinking things you're letting them control it without them knowing that they're really controlling your life and so I realized like you know if I don't do this now like I'm never going to do this and I'm never going to do something for me and I'm just going to always worry about everyone's opinions of me and never actually do something about it. <laughs> Yes, so. and you, you know, changed that mindset and you took control of it. Yeah, that's so true for me too. Like, I always, I'm like, what is so-and-so going to think? You know, like, I don't want to be judged, but, you know, you just have to stay in that mindset and just let go of it. Because like you said, they're not paying your bills. You know, it's your life and you just have to do it for yourself and your family. So, yeah, that's so true. So, let's see. I just have two more questions. So one question, which is what I was kind of going to go into. And then I was like, okay, I got to wait. Um, <laughs> how has starting your business changed your life? 
well, has changed my life completely. First of all, I never thought I'd be, I would be where I am right now, which I'll share. Um, but like when I started, I was still working um, somewhat of a part-time job and I lived in one state, like I had an apartment, everything. And then within a year, like I've always wanted to travel and do RV life, which I am doing now. But before, like I never even thought that was possible or even an idea. It didn't become a goal until I started this business. Because once I started this, I knew it was possible. I knew that I could get there. Um, and so now like I live in an RV with my husband and dog and like we travel and just like being able to just like work on the go, but also have the flexibility to kind of just like make my own schedule, work when I want, you know, do fun things when I want. Like just like it has just changed my life completely to like actually wake up, you know, living how I choose and just enjoy every day. So yeah, this business has done a lot. <laughs> yes, I love that. And you forgot to mention that you're pregnant too. Oh yeah, <laughs> and I'm pregnant now. So I even love this business more because I'll be able to stay at home with my kid and still, you know, be able to provide also for my family. So I feel like that's big too, um, being able to provide while also like staying home with my own child, like not having someone else take care of him or her. Don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, so. definitely. Yeah, that is so true. I mean, just waking up and you probably never, like you said, you never thought that you would be traveling in an RV and have all of that freedom. So now you have it. And it's like, I can imagine for me, I haven't had any like real physical changes just because being on the farm, traveling is not really something we can do all the time, especially yeah. full time. But um, just for mindset, you know, I never thought I'd be where I am now, like just growing mentally. So yeah, that's awesome. So my last question, because I know when I got started and you probably too, I was super hesitant and I was like, this doesn't seem real. It seems too good to be true. And I waited probably a good like four months before I actually like took the leap. So what would be um, your best advice for someone that's, you know, on the fence about getting started? Yeah, my biggest advice would be and I hear this, I heard this like when I started, I feel like it helped me to just like go for it um, and don't regret it. So here we are, um, would be like, if it's not going to kill you, like just try it. Like, you know, like, you know, we sometimes stop ourselves from doing things just because we're scared and all, but like really it's just our mindset, like, you know, and it's like not, it's not going to actually do us any harm to try it. And like, who knows, like this might be the best decision you ever make, but you won't know unless you actually try it. So if it's not going to kill you, like try it, like, you know, do you want to regret not doing it? And then like two years later, be like, oh, I wish I would have started this two years ago, or actually be like, look in two years where you are and like what you've overcome and be like, wow, I'm grateful. I tried, even though I was scared. So right. that's my biggest advice to just yes. and I I try it. <laughs> Yes, I 100% agree. And, you know, when you think about it, you know, what do you have to lose? You know, if you don't try it, you're never going to find out. And, you know, you just have to go for it. And if you want it bad enough, you're going to make it work. So, yeah, absolutely. And definitely, you know, the longer you wait always in my head is um, if I had got started that those four months sooner, how much further would I be in my business? So that's like always in my head. Um, but definitely stay positive. Think about what you have to gain, not necessarily what you have to lose, because it's a total life changer. I know we've all experienced it. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you hopping on. We made it short and sweet. So if anyone has any questions, reach out. But thank you, Daisy, for hopping on. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. All right. See you guys. <laughs>